Revelation 324, from the 7th of March 1938. The Word of God. For time and eternity is the word that the Lord Jesus Christ gives to his people on earth. As soon as the people begin to doubt, they lose the connection with the eternal Godhead and will therefore not reach spiritual maturity because to attain eternal life, it is necessary to obey the commandments of God, but without the word of God you lack the power to fulfill these. Above all you lack the knowledge of the eternal grace-giving source, and you grope in darkness and are weak, helpless beings. And that, while you can acquire brightness of spirit, power and strength without measure through the word of God. It is a fundamental law, the importance of which man cannot rightly imagine, therefore it is still better to accept blindly the word of God, unconscious of the great blessing, than to reject it and thereby cause immeasurable harm to oneself. For wherever the spirit of God is an active, enabling influence on the human soul, there the divine love and power itself guides you. To accept with devotion, faith and trust what is lovingly offered to you from above is infinitely wiser than to first want to fathom with the human mind what could be true and what could not be true. It is the great mistake of mankind to arrogantly consider itself wise, to consider itself called to do research in that which can only be explained by the divine creator and for which the human mind is far from sufficient. And where one cannot fully fathom, it is better to accept a teaching that can never ever cause harm, but rather strives for the noblest in its commandments and indications, and so can be called a true light from heaven. To receive the message of God unadulterated is an immeasurable blessing for all of you. You may refresh yourselves again with the water that flows purely and clearly from the spring, you may receive words directly given to you by the Lord Himself so that you may feel the refreshment very beneficial and must recognize the value of God's revelations. It was in his will to come to the help of countless poor earth children. He lovingly offers them his saving hand and welcomes everyone lovingly, but you must find your way to him and must not reject him, but what you do if you do not want to hear his word. The Lord's vision goes far ahead. In the beginning you may well be able to keep afloat with your teachings, which are the work of men, but soon you will realize that you lack the ground on which you can anchor. You will be exposed to the elements and will not know where to find support in your distress. And then everything that is human work, fails. Then only the word of God alone remains, which was the from the beginning and remains until all eternity. Do not let this most painful time for you come near in spiritual darkness, but turn still before this time to the word of God, which brings you salvation out of every trouble, out of spiritual and bodily distress. Because only one can help you who is above and to whom all work of creation is subject, so also you, who are created to strive for the union with your Creator and Heavenly Father. The only way to God is through his word, and only through this will you become one with the eternal Godhead. Amen.